Greetings everyone and welcome to the 2018 DVD and Blu-ray Collection Overview. We'll be doing the... Uh... The overflow bins today. This is basically mostly DVDs, a few Blu-rays that there's just no room for on the shelves. So for the time being, I basically pulled them off, put them in here. Um, it's mostly stuff that either uh, I might have duplicates of or I've upgraded to other editions or just things that I'm probably not going to get around to watching for a while. So I decided to just chuck them in here for now to uh, keep the collection tidier, you know. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to crack these suckers open and see what's in them today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Okay, here we go into the overflow bins. Lots of hidden treasures in here. Let's see. Okay, so um, I guess we'll just start on one side here and kind of work our way through. So we've got Flight of the Phoenix. There we go. By the way, I hope you don't mind the fans in the background. It's another heat wave, so. And then we got Street Walking. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about these. Either A, because there's a lot in here I haven't watched yet, or B, I've talked about in other videos, or C, well, there's just a ton of things, so. We have License to Kill, good old Denzel. Love Denzel. Pacific Heights, Michael Keaton. You know, creepy and scary and stuff. Love creepy, scary Michael Keaton. The Good Shepherd. There you go. True Lies, still waiting for a Blu-ray of this. Come on, James Cameron. Let's, let's make it happen here. I don't think this is even anamorphic widescreen either, much like uh, The Abyss. The Abyss is getting a Blu-ray, finally. And an IMAX film here, uh, Mysteries of Egypt. I was always fashion, fa fascinated, <laughs> fascinated by ancient Egypt uh, as a kid, and still am. I really like uh, all that ancient culture. And we got Lion Watch. This is a Region 2 release. You'll see a lot of Region 2 ones in here as well, a lot of... A lot of stuff from my uh, UK viewers. Got Shoot 'em Up. Good fun there with Clive Owen. John Cena in Marine. Or The Marine, sorry. Unrated Edition. There you go. I think there was a whole series of these. I only have the first one as far as I know. License to Kill. Classic Steven Seagal. Yeah. The Keeper. Slightly less classic Steven Seagal. My mom is actually a huge Steven Seagal fan. I've got some of his movies on Blu-ray as well. And then here we got a quadruple feature from Mill Creek. Four movie collection. We got uh, Hollywood Homicide, Hudson Hawk, Lone Star, and The Fan. Good stuff there. Got Bullet Down Under. It's a low-budget Australian action movie. The uh, main reason I got it was because it has Jacko Jackson in it. You may remember from the Energizer commercials back in the 80s. And also he co-starred in the short-lived series with Sam Jones, The Highwayman, which I really liked. Which also had Jane Badler and Tim Russ in it, by the way. Uh, genre fans will know those names. And we have Nobody's Fool. As you can see, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to a lot of these here. It's all just kind of a grab bag of stuff. We have Paper Man, which I now have on Blu-ray as well. So it's just kind of thrown in here because it's a... You know, kind of redundant. Um, Untraceable. I remember really liking this one. I can't remember a darn thing about it, though. <laughs> this is one my mom recommended me to me. She loves a, a good thriller. Got Rising Sun. Sean Connery and Wesley Snipes. Good stuff. And let's see here. And we'll start here. We have... This is a really nice one. This is a Region 2 edition of... The uh, special edition of Gladiator, which has the extended edition and the theatrical cut, I believe, and a whole bunch of special features. I believe most of the contents of this are now redundant uh, with the Blu-ray release, which I also have. But uh, I keep it because it's a cool collector's edition, you know. 
And we have Frost Nixon, the original Watergate interview. So this is not a dramatized version. This is actually a documentary that contains clips of the original Watergate uh, interviews and stuff like that, um, which kind of blew the lid off the whole thing. Uh, An Inconvenient Truth, in eco-friendly packaging, of course. <laughs> DVD preview. This was actually a giveaway with a magazine, I think, or something like that. Or no, it was a magazine on a DVD. It was like, oh my god, what a concept. I don't think they did anything beyond this first issue, but it uh, has some Leonard Malton stuff on it, some movie uh, trailers, and it's kind of a cool little collector's item. And then, uh, you know, I'm all about the power of positive thinking. We have The Secret. This is the original DVD release. I think there's been a like an anniversary release of this put out since. That's uh, good stuff. Just uh, yeah, just kind of get get gets the good vibes going, feeling good about things, and trying to make some positive change in your life. Uh, I'm not there. All about the life of Bob Dylan. We have a classic by La Lars von Trier, Dogville. Very good. And then early Christopher Nolan film following. Good stuff. I still need to watch this. I've heard it's fantastic. And then we have... It says, Aliens, Abductions, and Extraordinary Sightings. Oh, so here we go. So basically just a, a documentary series all about alien abductions and stuff like that. I like things like that. Stems from my growing up watching uh, Unsolved Mysteries. We got Roller Girls, the complete series, which was done in widescreen, but sadly the DVDs are not anamorphic. It's actually a four by three letterbox, which is kind of annoying. But uh, I, I'm a sucker for roller game. I, I loved roller games back in the '80s, and I just love roller derby. It's like one of the few sports I actually enjoy watching. Maybe just because it's so brutal. I don't know. But uh, I always liked it. And this is a really fun reality series about a couple of different roller teams and their lives and stuff on on, on and off on and off the roller rink. Now we got Roller Derby Mania, which is actually from the early 80s. It actually features a lot of uh, early uh, 80s roller derby stars um, who, if you've seen roller games, you'll recognize a lot of the people in this. A lot of the same people are in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we got the best of the WWE Saturday Night's main event. Well, actually, this would be when it was the WWF, but, you know, we don't talk about that anymore because of that stupid wildlife thing that sued them and made them change the name. Anyway, this is like some classic uh, Saturday Night Main Event 80s stuff. I'm not a big wrestling fan, but I do enjoy a lot of the 80s stuff because I kind of kind of grew up with it. It was like when the Saturday morning cartoons were over, wrestling would come on. So you know, inevitably, I would end up watching some of it, even if I wasn't, you know, didn't really follow it as much as my friends. And then we got Sling Blade. I do have the Blu-ray of Sling Blade, but this one's notable because this is actually the uh, extended director's cut which is not available on Blu-ray. So, yeah, this is basically the one to watch until further notice. And then uh, I remember watching this a long time ago. i, I got to watch it again. We have The King of Comedy, directed by Martin Scorsese, starring Jerry Lewis and Robert De Niro. Good stuff. Classic. And then we got The Triple Hanky. Got The Money Pit, The Burbs, and Dragnet. Um, I think all of which have since been released on Blu-ray. I know the Burbs just got a really nice special edition from Shout Factory. Uh, I think Dragnet's got one coming. I'm not sure about the Money Pit, but anyway, great, great stuff. Classic Tom Hanks, back when he still did comedy. Ah, the Aristocrats. Several comedians give you their take on the dirtiest joke ever told. Uh, really good stuff. Really funny. Some great, uh, great comedians in there. We got the complete series of Police Squad, the short-lived, uh, all of six-episode long TV series that the Naked Gun movies were based on from the creators of Airplane. And then we have the John Hughes High School Yearbook. This is a Region 2 release. Uh, there was a Region 1 sort of version of this. It didn't have as fancy packaging, though. Uh, so this has what, uh, Weird Science, 16 Candles, and The Breakfast Club. Since then, I've since got Weird Science and The Breakfast Club on Blu-ray. I still don't have 16 Candles, so there you go. Very nice set there. And then here... Oh, wow, I actually didn't know I had this. <laughs> we have Shanghai Noon with uh, Owen Wilson and Jackie Chan. Oh, and Lucy Liu, very nice. Good times. 
And then we have Control. There we go. And this is kind of cool. And this is a documentary about death row inmates' uh, last meals and the people who prepare them. It's called Last Supper. This was sent to me by Disc Junkie many, many moons ago. And uh, it's actually done in the form of like a, a dinner tray, like a prison dinner tray, which is pretty cool. Very cool packaging on that. And then another classic documentary. We have 80 Blocks from Tiffany's. It's a really, really nice edition of it. So I guess this is my little documentary section here, kind of. And we have City of God. And then from Mill Creek, we have Up From Slavery. It's all about the emancipation, which is great. And this is pretty cool. We have three disc deluxe edition of Black Hawk Down. There is an extended version of this movie. I don't believe it's in this set, though. This is just a big deluxe edition. Um, I'm just going to take a look here. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's got, it uh, basically has the movie on disc one, and then discs two and three are all extras, so really nice addition to have. Um, I have the book of Black Hawk Down as well. It was just brutal what those guys went through. Um, and as kind of a side note, my, um, my stepsister's husband is an ex-army ranger, so he knows all about that story. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, he doesn't talk about his, uh, former employment much, understandably. Apparently it's a pretty rough, pretty rough job. Uh, then we have Annie Hall. This, I think, is an Australian release. I can't remember. But, uh, love this. This is one of my all-time favorite, um, all my all-time favorite Annie Hall movies. Um, one of my all-time favorite Woody Allen movies. And then we have From Late Night with Conan O'Brien, we've got The Best of Triumph, The Insult Comic Dog. This was worth it alone, just for the, uh, the one where he visits all of the nerds lining up to see Star Wars Episode One, Absolutely hilarious. It's great stuff. And here, I actually picked this one up from the dollar store a while ago. I remember we have If Lucy Fell and Life Without Dick. <laughs> I got it for If Lucy Fell, because I actually saw that in the theater when it originally came out, and I remembered uh, really enjoying it. It's kind of a fun uh, rom-com. And then we got Saturday Night Live, the best of John Belushi. Yeah. Good stuff. Lots of classic skits on there. <coughs> and then next up, I'll just grab this uh, whole wad here. <laughs> wad. We have Jackass, the box set. So this is the uh, the first, um, what is it, three volumes and a bonus disc and a booklet of uh, bits from the TV show. So it's just kind of a compilation of stuff from the TV show. Um, which is pretty cool. And then they put out this one, Jackass the Lost Tapes, which is basically everything else from the TV show. So between these two here, you got as much of the TV show as they've ever released. They recently re-released a box set of basically everything that was in these releases and um, went from there. So then we have, uh, let's see, we got Jackass the Movie, unrated edition, of course. Absolutely hilarious. And then we got uh, Jackass number two, unrated. And then Jackass 2.5. Now I got Jackass 3 and Bad Grandpa on Blu-ray. I still need the .5s that go with each of those. I'll get them eventually. <coughs> and then we got my little Kevin Smith section here. Some of these I've started to upgrade to uh, uh, Blu-ray. So, where the heck's the other one? I don't know where the other one is. Anyway, I've got um, I've got all of the original um, View of Universe ones here. So I got Clerks X, which is the beautiful 10th anniversary edition of Clerks. I need to grab the Blu-ray of this, which basically has all the same content. Um, also, of course, have the Clerks animated series. Another short-lived one, only six episodes, but absolutely hilarious. Love this uh, show. Definitely worth a revisit from time to time. Now, I do also have Mallrats. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I have mall rats. This is both the theatrical and extended version. Apparently, this is a case where the theatrical version is kind of the preferred cut for most fans. So, there you go. And I do have Chasing Amy somewhere. I don't know where it's disappeared to. But anyway, I do have it. And then I've got this beautiful DVD collector's edition of Dogma. Basically, looks like a Bible in a slipcase. Very, very nice edition. <coughs> And then, of course, we have Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is the big collector's edition. 
Uh, yeah, Kevin Smith does not skimp on the extras with his uh, movies. Great stuff. And then finally we have Jay and Silent Bob do Degrassi. So this is where Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes uh, guest starred in a few episodes of Degrassi, The Next Generation, which is pretty cool. So uh, I think three episodes on here? Yeah, so three episodes. Good times. Uh, I'm sure we'll find Chasing Amy somewhere in the mix here. All right, so carrying on here, some more, uh, like some more comedy. We've got uh, Zoolander. I still haven't seen the second one, actually. I love the first one. Good times. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which was sent to me by a viewer. I had never seen it. <laughs> I, of course, was aware of it because it's kind of legendary as uh, one of the you know all-time great early 80s teen comedies. But uh, I had never seen it, so I watched this as soon as I got it and absolutely loved it. What a great movie. Uh, I can't believe I missed out on it all these years. Now you got Jim Carrey and uh, Me, Myself, and Irene, which I absolutely love. This is a really fun one. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which I do have on Blu-ray, but the reason I keep this is because it actually has a commentary track with John Hughes. It, to my knowledge, is the one and only commentary track he ever did, and for whatever reason, they did not port it over to the Blu-ray, so I keep this one for that reason. And the Bueller Bueller edition, like the deluxe edition DVD that came out after this, does not have the commentary either. So this is actually an earlier DVD release, which is the only place I've seen that commentary. So look for this one if you want to get a hold of that commentary for your collection. And then we have... What the hell is the other one? There it is. All right. So I absolutely loved this movie. It was my introduction to Chris Evans and a lot of other comedic actors. Uh, we have Not Another Teen Movie. And I think one of the reasons this worked so well is they actually did it as an R-rated comedy, which to me was a better throwback to the old uh, college and teen and like high school comedies that I grew up with than, say, doing it as a PG or PG-13. So it meant the jokes could be dirtier and stuff like that. So I really like this a lot. And uh, that has some extras that are not on this edition, which is the unrated extended director's cut. Um, and uh, there, there's quite a few differences, not just in terms of the extra footage, but... Um, also just in terms of there, there's some stuff added, some stuff removed, and just some things rearranged. So being a huge fan of the movie, it was absolutely worth it for me to have both versions. Um, I just, I love this movie so much. I think it's great. And then we have The Hoax with Richard Gere. What the heck is Richard Gere up to these days? I haven't heard much from him. Uh, and the man himself, we got George Carlin, one of his HBO specials. You are all diseased. <laughs> yeah. Always a good time for some Carlin, man. Man was crazy in all the right ways. And then we have Cold Mountain. There we go. Very nice uh, Academy Award edition. Then we got a special, special addiction edition of Reefer Madness. I have this a couple times over uh, in different forms. So this is a nice uh, sort of collector's edition they did. Oh, I love this movie so much. Talk about dark teen comedies. We have uh, Heathers. Great stuff. Christian Slater and Winona Ryder. i got to watch this again. I haven't watched this in ages. I used to have this on VHS, and I lost count of how many times I watched it. I just loved it. It's very twisted, and that's why I love it. Um, i got to find out if this is on Blu-ray, actually, because I'd love to get this on Blu-ray. And here we have a four-movie collection of comedies. Some of those you might put in quotes. Uh, we have Chevy Chase and Cops and Robertsons, with, uh, also with Jack Palance. Uh, we got Leonard Part 6. Uh, we got What Planet Are You From with uh, Gary Shandling. And we have Vibes with Cindy Lauper, Jeff Goldblum, and Peter Falk. Oh, my God. How did I not know I had that? But <laughs> I think I actually grabbed this for Leonard Part 6 just because it's so notoriously awful. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. Oh, this one's a classic. we got Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Michael Caine and Steve Martin. Great stuff. The Ruprecht scene. Come on. Everybody loves the Ruprecht scene. <laughs> ah, let's see. All right, we're in the bottom row here. So let's, uh, let's start here, I guess. So we got, uh, looks like some more comedy. we got Wedding Crashers. There you go. Uh, the main reason a lot of these are in here is because they're DVDs, and I kind of want to put the emphasis on Blu-rays on my shelf here. So a lot of these are ones I'd like to upgrade at some point or have upgraded, but I keep the DVDs because of the extras and stuff. Uh, we got Get Shorty, which is getting a TV series, apparently. 
It's kind of interesting. I don't know who's starring in it, but uh, yeah, always really like this movie. It's a good time. And then, uh, then we have Jerry Seinfeld, I'm telling you for the last time. This is uh, basically his last sort of big concert shortly after uh, uh, ending the TV show. And uh, basically he did a lot of his classic stand-up routines for the last time. So the idea was he was retiring his old bits and going forward he was going to be doing all new material. And um, that's basically what he's done. Ah, my cousin Vinny. Love my cousin Vinny. This was the movie that made me fall in love with Marissa Tomei. So, I'm okay with her being the new Aunt May. Just saying. And I gotta say, honestly, since this, it looks like she has an age today. She is just looks fantastic. What an amazing, amazing woman. And then we have the Arrow version of Phenomena. Why is this not on my horror shelf? Well, because I also have the Blu-ray version. So, I've got both the DVD and Blu-ray edition of the Arrow special edition of Phenomena. And... And then we have Spider-Man, <coughs> excuse me, Spider-Man, the new animated series. This is the uh, early 2000s one that uh, takes place between the first and second movies. Um, the reason it's in here is this is a Region 2 edition that was sent to me by a viewer. I don't think he realized I already had it in Region 1. Um, so the Region 1 version is on my shelf, and I just kind of keep this one because, you know, it's nice to have. And, whoops, and then speaking of keeping for extras, we've got the two-disc widescreen special edition of the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man film has piles and piles of extras which were not ported over to the Blu-ray. So good to have that. And two disc special edition of Spider-Man 2 as well. Keeping it for the same reason. Piles and piles of extras. So there you go. This I think is the two disc edition. Yeah, yeah, two disc edition. There we go. Alright, just just double checking. But uh, yeah, good stuff. I'd love some Spidey. What else we got here? Alright, so then we go here. We've got the, uh, ah, what is this, the two-disc special, yeah, this is the 20th anniversary edition of A Christmas Story, which has always been a traditional Christmas movie for me. Um, I do have the Blu-ray of this now, but again, keeping this for the extras, and also it's just a really nice edition, and this one's always been kind of a special movie for me. And then we've also got the special edition of Escape from New York. Again, I've got the Scream Factory edition, which does port over a lot of the material from this. But again, this is just such a beautiful uh, thing. Plus, it has some additional material, like some packing material that is not in the Screen Factory, like physical material. I think there's like a comic book and stuff. Yeah, but um, really good. And then we've got Weird Al Yankovic UHF, which, uh, again, keeping this for some of the extras, in particular the interactive menus, which are really funny and actually star Weird Al. Um, if you press on options that aren't available on, a, on the side of the disc you're on, he gets increasingly annoyed with you in the menus. It's quite funny. Uh, so none of that material is ported over to the uh, Shout Factory edition. So the Shout Factory edition has a lot of additional material, which is great. Um, but, you know, essentially if you're a Weird Al fan, uh, you basically want to have both to have everything. And then we've got Ice Pirates, which actually just came out on Blu-ray from Warner Archives, so I need to upgrade this. But, uh, yeah, I always liked this one. It's, it's very cheesy. Some of the humor is uh, kind of pushes the boundaries of PG a little bit. But um, I always liked it just for kind of the cheese fest that it is. And the, the old practical effects are pretty awesome. Then we've got Twin Peaks Firewalk With Me, which, again, is redundant because I have uh, the Blu-ray set, which actually includes everything that's on here. I think some of the extras weren't ported over, so there's uh, one reason to keep it. But... Uh, there's, uh, yeah, so in the missing, or sorry, in the uh, complete mystery set of the original, it includes Firewalk With Me, plus lots of extras that um, were not out at the time that the original DVD came out. Plus, there's also the Criterion edition, which actually has everything that's in that uh, edition as well, plus, uh, I think, some additional stuff. And then finally, we have Kagamusha, the classic uh, samurai film from Akira Kurosawa. Uh, this has become redundant because I have the Criterion Blu-ray edition so uh yeah so i just kind of keep that because it's kind of a cool alternate edition of it and i'm just going to do these two on their own here i've shown these before we have the uh, uh the terminator 2 ultimate edition dvd uh which basically uh, as i've said before has the most dangerous metal slip case ever you could this thing is sharp i've actually cut myself on it before but uh, the main reason I got this was because this has most of the extras that were on my old Laserdisc set, the Terminator 2 Laserdisc set, which I've shown numerous times. I did a closer look about it if you want to take a look at it. Um, 
but uh, but it also has some additional stuff that was not on that, such as stuff about the Terminator 2 uh, sort of ride film that they did, which is pretty cool. And then we also have the uh, the Terminator 2 Extreme Edition, which uh, I showed in my uh, uh, one of the uh, sci-fi overviews. I think it was part two, if I'm not mistaken. Part two? Part three. Part four, maybe? I don't remember. It was one of them, anyway. But, uh, yeah, so check that out if you want to get a closer look at that. Uh, and then this one, I got Volume 1 of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, the Region 2 release. Uh, this became redundant when uh, Dave, a bunch of numbers, actually sent me the complete Season 1 set, which includes this volume and the other eight volumes. So, pretty cool. And let's take a look here. i got a few things. So we got... Uh, ah, here we go. We have A Christmas Carol, the Emerald DVD edition. Um, again, I keep this just because it's kind of a cool collector's edition. And at the time, this was one of the best editions you could get of the uh, the old 50s uh, Alistair Sim Christmas Carol. Since then, I've got the fully restored uh, Blu-ray edition, which is even better. It's really, really nice. There was a Blu-ray master, uh, Blu-ray version of this release, which is terrible. Avoid it. Um, the, the, they ba it was basically a case where they had DNR'd the master for DVD release, uh, but they had done a, like a high-definition uh, master and then DNR'd the hell out of it to you know compensate for MPEG compression and the lower resolution and stuff. But then they took that master and just slapped it on a Blu-ray. Bad idea. Don't do that. Because that is not what it was made for. Because you scrubbed away all the fine detail to compensate for the MPEG compression and artifacting, and you just put it on a Blu-ray? No, you don't do that. So anyway, the version I have is the Blu-ray from uh, VCI. Not BCI, V, as in Victory CI. <coughs> and it's uh, it's really nice. And here we have the Legend Ultimate Edition. I've got the uh, Blu-ray version of this, which basically is all the same content. But I keep this just because it's such a cool, badass-looking special edition. It's really, really nice. And then we have the original Snapper Case release of It. Again, made redundant by the Blu-ray release, which I now have. And then we have Apocalypse Now, the complete dossier in the folder packaging. It's very nice, very nice edition. Um, again, made redundant by the Blu-ray edition that I have now, but again, I keep it just because it's a cool collector's edition. We have Tron, the 20th Anniversary DVD Edition. This one I keep for a couple reasons. A, because I think there's some extras on here that didn't get ported over, but also because it's a, it's a cool collector's edition, and also because it's one of the first DVDs I ever bought. So, kind of nostalgic in that respect. And then finally we have the, uh, the green slip box DVD release of Ghostbusters 1 and 2, which contains a cool booklet of uh, behind-the-scenes uh, sketches and designs and stuff like that. And a couple of episodes of the real Ghostbusters cartoon, which had not been released at the time. Um, yeah, it just shows how old this release is. But uh, this, of course, has been made redundant by the multiple Blu-ray editions I've purchased since. But uh, again, I keep it because it's a cool, cool collector's set. And then finally we have... What do we got here? Oh, yeah. So th this one I basically keep just because uh, I've got these movies um, in other forms. There's only one I need to get on Blu-ray, but uh, we have... Hold on a second, let me just rearrange them a little bit here. So we got A Fistful of Dollars. These are Region 2 editions with uh, all kinds of extras on there. These are just kind of cool alternate editions of these movies that were sent to me by a viewer. Um, obviously, my viewing ones would be the Blu-rays. I've got the Man With No Name trilogy set, um, which is quite nice has all the remasters on it. And then I've got uh, Fistful of Dynamite. This one I still need to get on uh, on Blu-ray. I think Kino Lorber just did a release of it recently, so I'll, I'll have to pick that one up. All right, almost finished the first box here. Next up we have Silver Streak with Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor, classic comedy duo. Good stuff. And this one, I wish this would get a Blu-ray release. We have Kids in the Hall, Brain Candy. Which was the uh, one I, I really love this movie because the humor is so dark in it, and I love that. <laughs> I think it was a little too dark for some people, and that's why they never did any more movies. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. And then we have Kids in the Hall, the special Head Crusher edition of the pilot episode. Now, Mill Creek Entertainment has since re released the complete series of Kids in the Hall fairly cheap. I keep meaning to pick it up, um, I will grab it at some point. And then we have Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. 
There we go. Predates uh, Sharknado. And then we got uh, Jason Statham in Death Race. Loose remake of the Roger Corman classic. And then we got, uh, what's his face? Luke Goss, who played the Frankenstein monster in a really good adaptation of Frankenstein from uh, about 15 years ago, uh, starring in Death Race 2. And there we go. And then finally, what do we got here? Okay, so we have uh, Futurama Volume 5 on DVD. This has been made redundant because I got Volumes 5 through 8 on Blu-ray, as most of you will know. Did a big update about that at the time. And we got Threads, uh, Region 2 PAL release. Uh, also made redundant by the recent Blu-ray release. But I uh, keep this because it's a very nice addition. <sighs> Fan 4 stick. Yes, I have this on both DVD and Blu-ray. I bought the Blu-ray. The DVD was sent to me by a viewer. So, there you go. <laughs> He was trying to spare me by sending it to me so I wouldn't have to spend money on it. But, like an idiot, I went and bought the Blu-ray because I wanted to experience the badness in the best possible quality. And then we got Jet Li, Hero. Presented by Quentin Tarantino. And then we have Will Ferrell, Anchorman, the unrated edition. And this was a special two-disc edition that was packaged in with Anchorman, Wake Up Ron Burgundy, which is kind of a clever way to present deleted scenes. They, they uh, edited all the, a, bu a bunch of the deleted scenes together with some new uh, material, and like a new story, to make a second movie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, those have been rendered redundant because I have the, um, uh, the steel book that contains everything from these two, plus everything for Anchorman 2. So it's got the whole, the whole works on it. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly put all of these back in here. And we'll uh, carry on. Ta-da! All right, so now... Yeah. We swap them around. And let's see what's in the second box. All right, here we go. So, yeah, you can see this one isn't as full. I was originally going to do this as two videos, one for each box. I thought, you know what, whatever. Let's... Hey, look what we found. There it is. Chasing Amy. See, I told you I had it. There we go. All right. So let's, uh, let's just grab a handful of these here. Uh, sure, grab that. So here we got an action double feature. We got Romeo Must Die and Cradle to the Grave. Very nice. One second. And then uh, I think we're going to see a lot of my, basically all of my martial arts collection in here. Uh, we have the Five Deadly Venoms. So the other reason for these bins is basically stuff that I know I'm not going to get around to watching for a while. So I just kind of figured I'll put them away for now just to kind of free up the shelf space. And then, I mean, I know where they are. They're perfectly accessible at all times. So, then we have Sharktopus. There we go. And this is pretty cool. This is a nice uh, DVD edition with lenticular cover of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Can you see that? Oh. Kind of weird. Yeah, anyway. Then we have the Gladiator Extended Edition. Now this is kind of rendered obsolete by the DVD, or sorry, the Blu-ray edition, which I believe has all of this material on it, but I'm not 100% sure. So I keep this just to make sure I have all the extras. Plus it's just a really cool edition. And then we have Bloodhounds of Broadway. I'm guessing some kind of murder mystery. here got some uh, crime drama here we got Simon and Simon season one really need to pick up the remaining seasons of this and we got Spencer for hire season one and season two some classic 80s private investigator action you know I do love me my PIs 
And let's take a look here. And then we have another Best of Saturday Night Live. We have the Best of Saturday TV Funhouse. Of course, the ambiguously gay duo right up front there. Great stuff. This is a really funny compilation. And we have an Adam McGoyan film, The Adjuster. Very nice. And I do have a Blu-ray of this, but again, I keep this because it's just such a beautiful edition. We have Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The, what is this? The Extraordinarily Deluxe Edition. <laughs> Great stuff. Pretty sure everything on here, I mean, this, you can see how many extras are on here. This is tons of stuff. Uh, pretty sure everything on here is ported over to the Blu-ray, but I keep this edition just in case. And we got Jackie Chan, Robin B. Hood. The Shinjuku Incident. The Tenth Kingdom, which has actually been rendered obsolete because I have the, the uh, Blu-ray. But uh, I might actually give the DVD to Rose just so she can have it for her collection as well. We have Where Was God... We got the special edition of Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Again, I have this on Blu-ray, which I'm pretty sure ports everything over. I haven't double-checked that, though. And we've got a uh, four-film favorites uh, martial arts collection here. We've got Militant Eagle, The Prodigal Boxer, uh, Moonlight Sword and Jade Lion, and The Bloody Fists. So lots of good stuff there. And... Whoa! here. And we have Waking the Dead, the complete series one. British uh, mystery series. I think it's kind of a police procedural, if I remember correctly. And we got the Black Donnellys, the complete series. This one's a bit of a collector's item now. We got Boris and Natasha, the movie, with uh, Dave Thomas and Sally Kellerman. As everyone's favorite uh, Russian spies from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Uh, Michael Palin, Around the World in 80 Days. Of course, as uh, many of you may know, the ex Monty Python uh, star did a whole bunch of sort of uh, travel videos or travel series for PBS. Uh, Moulin Rouge, which I hate. I know this is probably sent to me as a joke. <laughs> Got Silent Witness. Season 1. Yeah, some of my viewers sent me some great uh, British um, sort of crime drama stuff here. Hold on a second. Um, just going to rearrange these a little bit. And then we have Silent Witness Series 2. And Series 3 and 4. Series 5 and 6. I'm guessing the series were really short. <laughs> and Series 7 and 8. I think this has gone on even longer than this, actually. But it's a good uh, good chunk of them there. Good stuff. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of martial arts in here. So we'll uh, kind of go through them and see what we got here. So we have Kill Zone. I need to basically have a martial arts festival, like just marathon and watch a bunch of these. Uh, we've got chocolate. Not to be confused with the French film Chocolat. And we have Fatal Contact. And this one's actually a documentary about martial arts movies. We have The Art of Action. It's a genre I'm honestly not overly familiar with, but I've been wanting to get into for a long time because the few that I have seen I've really enjoyed. This is uh, King Warrior. Or, sorry, Warrior King. I was reading it upside down. And then we have Fist of Legend. I actually have this one on Blu-ray as well. So, obviously, I'll be watching the Blu-ray when I get around to it. 
And then, yeah, this just came out on Blu-ray. Speaking of which, I need to uh, upgrade. We have uh, Ray Bradbury's The Martian Chronicles. Great uh, miniseries adaptation from the uh, early 80s. Uh, this scared the hell out of me when I was a kid, and I love it now. Um, the, from the Wu-Tang Clan Iron Flag Collection, we have Dance of Death, directed by Jackie Chan. I don't think he's in this one. He just directed it. Cool. Yeah, it looks like fun. And we got Jet Li, The Legend 2. And everyone's favorite martial arts movie, The Fifth Element. No. Uh, kept this just because it's the Ultimate DVD Edition. It's kind of cool. It's got lots of extras on it. Um, uh, as you know, I have this. I have both Blu-ray editions of this. One in a beautiful... Uh, um, what the hell? Oh, there's a moth flying around. Uh, beautiful Steelbook Edition that uses the horrible old transfer and then the remastered Blu-ray, which is much nicer. And another great martial arts movie, we have Stand By Me. <laughs> yeah, obviously not a lot of rhyme or reason to this uh, bin here, but uh, good stuff. And then, of course, we have Iron Monkey. Very good. Oh, we're getting close to the end. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got quite a, a lot of different stuff. We got uh, Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai, Forrest Whitaker. And this one I picked up at a uh, local thrift store. It was basically a bonus disc from an old collected edition. We have Yippie Kaye, which is basically uh, all kinds of extras and stuff about Die Hard. So, pretty cool, which I don't think are in my 25th anniversary Blu-ray set. So, pretty cool. Then we have Brotherhood of the Wolf. And then we have The Mummy, which is actually redundant because I have the uh, the collection that has all three of the movies and the original Scorpion King, so, uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, and then we got G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. Um, yeah, this has become redundant because I since tracked down the two-disc edition. Everybody's saying, why'd you get the single-disc edition? It's missing a bunch of extras. It's like, oh, okay. So I actually found the two-disc edition with the slipcover and got that instead. And uh, so this has basically been rendered redundant as a result. And then we have Argo. Little Ben Affleck. And then we have a... Uh, it's a... Is this a German release? I can't remember. But anyway, this is like a, a Region 2 release of Fritz Lang's M. Very nice DVD edition. I really want to get the Criterion edition of this, actually. I've never seen it, so I kind of, I've kind of been holding off on that because I want to see it in the you know, best edition I can. And then we got uh, Frenzy, classic Alfred Hitchcock movie. Not a movie about the Decepticon cassette. <laughs> hey, I know my audience, okay? I know you, some of you were thinking that. Let's see, what do we got here? It's sort of a little bit of a music section here, somewhat. Uh, let me just... Swap these around. All right, so we got uh, Pink Floyd Pulse. It's basically a concert video. Very cool. This kind of neat. Uh, Metallica, the videos, 1989 to 2004. So a compilation of all their music videos. Pretty cool. And I love this movie. I used to have this on Laserdisc, and I believe this is a DVD edition of all the same contents that were on that Laserdisc. We have all Oliver Stone's The Doors. It's such a good movie. When I had the laser disc, I watched it a few times. But uh, this is a really nice DVD edition. I remember they did all the diehards and editions like this as well. But, uh, then we have The Passion of the Christ, the uh, controversial Mel Gibson film. It'd be a good uh, double bill, I think, with maybe Last Temptation of Christ, another controversial one. Uh, Once We're Warriors. I've heard this one's really good. i got to check it out one of these days. And this one's totally redundant because, of course, i got all the Blu-rays now. We have the extended cut of Paranormal Activity 2, Region 2 edition. But, uh, yeah. At the time, I didn't have it, so a viewer sent it to me. Almost done. All right. And next up, we have uh, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in Righteous Kill. Ah, you thought I was going to say Heat, didn't you? But, nope. <laughs> I don't think I actually have Heat right now. I've seen it. Like, I used to have it on Laserdisc, but I uh, need to get it again. Got the original Inglorious Bastards. 
Yeah. That's right. Original. And we got Jet Li, Hero. Great stuff. And we got Ip Man. I think they just put out another one of these. I forget how many there are now. There's like five or six of them now, I think. But, uh, but yes, a really good series, apparently. Oh, this one, this one's classic. I remember hearing about this one. We got Master of the Flying Guillotine Ultimate Edition. Yeah, some of them, even not, like, following martial arts that much, sometimes you still hear about the big notable ones. <laughs> and we got Curse of the Golden Flower. It's like a very, uh... Where's this one from? This is from 2006. Oh, okay, no, it was after. Yeah, couldn't. It's hard to tell sometimes because they dye their hair and stuff. So sometimes they look younger, sometimes they look older. And then we got Seven Steps of Kung Fu. Good stuff. And then uh, Robert De Niro and Edward Norton this time, along with Angela Bassett and Marlon Brando, in the score. Good stuff. This is supposed to be one of the last things Marlon Brando did. Yes, yeah, from 2001. Wow. Directed by Frank Oz. Cool. Yoda himself. <laughs> and last, but most definitely not least, let's see what we got here. We have iRobot. A Will Smith film loosely based on the Isaac Asimov novel. We got Jet Li in Fearless. Another Jet Li. Got a lot of Jet Li. Uh, Once Upon a Time in China. From Black Belt Theater, we have The Cavalier. And here, this is what I'm talking about. We got a 13-hour set, Martial Arts Masters. There's a bunch of movies on it. What do we got on here? We've got uh, The Real Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth, Fist of Fury. Um, Street Fighter, Return of the Street Fighter, Crippled Masters, Bruce Lee Fights Back from the Grave, Tattoo Connection, Rage of the Masters, and a bonus feature, The History of Martial Arts. So there you go, nice sort of, you know, bargain bin collection of martial arts stuff. And from the Soul Assassins collection, we have Secret of the Water Technique. Very nice. And then we've got the heroic trio, trio, trio. <laughs> there we go. And last martial arts one here we have Shinobi, Heart Under Blade. That's pretty sweet. Love is war. And last but most definitely not least, we have the special edition DVD. Of the Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai Across the Eighth Dimension. Now, of course, this has been rendered obsolete by the recent Shout Select Blu-ray release, which I do have. But again, kept this because not 100% sure if all the extras um, carried over. So I'm just going to quickly put everything back in here. Whoops. Ta-da! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. At long last, we have come to the end. That is it. With the covering what's in these bins, that concludes the entire DVD collection overview. DVD Blu-ray collection overview. Uh, my mind is just mush after doing all of those. Holy moly, that, that took forever. Um, yeah, so 
thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we're done. Now, I'm probably not going to do these as an annual thing because um, that would be insane. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know, every couple of years we'll, we'll do an updated edition. So, uh, so yeah, that is it. That is the entirety of my DVD and Blu-ray... Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I have a pretty massive Doctor Who DVD and Blu-ray collection, too, and some VHS tapes, so... And some other British sci-fi, so... <laughs> I, I guess we're not quite done yet, folks. Um, tune in again next time as we start a doctor-by-doctor doctor look at my Doctor Who DVD and Blu-ray collection. There will also be one about my other British sci-fi... And then we'll be done, maybe. We'll see you next time, folks. Until then, thanks for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, and sayonara. Whoops. Shit. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. <sighs> That's totally the wrong angle. Whoops, 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 whoops.